Good morning everyone, today's another pre-maintenance checklist video which means we're going over all of the different campaigns which are ending with this coming maintenance. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to go over is of course the treasure scratch. So the treasure scratch is going to be ending with the coming maintenance. Now the scratch itself is not going away, however you won't be able to obtain any more tickets after the coming maintenance. So make sure that you have at least a hundred tickets because there are the guaranteed bonuses that you can get for scratching a hundred times. So if you haven't done so already or if you don't have a hundred tickets yet, just make sure that you participate in as many urgent quests as possible because each urgent quest is guaranteed to give you two tickets and sometimes they give you three on top of that another way to obtain these tickets is doing your dailies there is a daily every single day that you can obtain three additional tickets through the clear quest part one as well as part two and also part three over here where it does reward you a total of three treasure scratch tickets every single day the next campaign that is ending is use ac get item special campaign so this is the 100 hour curry collaboration items over here so if you do want any of these collaboration items you need to spend either 22 dollars or 44 dollars respectively in order to get all of these different rewards now for my free to play players you can purchase all of those rewards through the personal shop if you don't have the ac to spend it or you just don't want to spend ac at all for example the 100 hour curry emote if we search price over here you can see it's only going for 1.6 million and right here you can see this is the female variant and there's a, a bunch of different options that you can see however let's show you the male variant where you actually cook the curry uh this one's also pretty cool but uh there's no variants for the male version it's just a giant pot of curry and you just cook it's pretty nice the next thing I want to remind everyone is if you do have Prime Gaming, you have a bunch of free rewards. So you still have like 22 days to pick up these rewards, but you get a free emote, some Rappy Shape Freighters, as well as these goggles over here. So that is pretty nice. Now, if it is your very first time for redeeming it, you also get these hoodies over here, which are also pretty awesome. Now, other than that, the Designer Dreams August 2023 scratch is also going away. So if you do want any of these items over here, you might want to pick them up soon. Uh, because, uh, well, once they're gone, the prices are probably going to go up again. Now, don't worry about Uncle from Another World. This one doesn't go away until next week, so you still have some time for that. Actually, a lot of scratches are staying until next week, so you have plenty of time. You don't need to worry about it. Now, another thing that is going away is the limited time quest over here, Arun's Interception. This is going to be ending, and it will be replaced by the limited time quest drill, Unidentified Region A32. So this limited time quest is an eight-person instance. However, do keep in mind there is a high possibility where we won't be able to farm for the Octo Arma Arga as well as the Belta for a week when this limited time quest comes out. And then the week after this limited time quest, it'll probably be a lot more accessible in like a combat zone or something. So if you enjoy this, this limited time quest feel free to spam it as much as you can because after maintenance this will be gone the next thing i want to remind everyone is about all of your limited time quest there is actually a bunch over here of these genesis points exchange stuff they all have to do with the creative spaces so if you do need a lot of genesis points you can just power through all of these they don't give a lot they give 1.5k each but they do stack up since there are so many quests I think there's actually a couple that I'm not actually done yet, like change build part as well as place build parts. I'm not done with these two yet. But nevertheless, there are a bunch of limited time quests that you can just plow through in order to get a lot of Genesis points. Now, another friendly reminder is the mission pass. It doesn't go away this week, but it goes away next week. So if you haven't progressed in the mission pass at all, you might want to uh, pick up the pace a little bit and start doing your dailies as well as your weeklies so that you can actually progress through the mission pass. Since the mission pass rewards this time around has been improved. So if you do get to tier 40 over here, you actually get a total of four arms refiners too, which is pretty nice. You also get a bunch of Aegis souls as well as Irati souls. You also get a bunch of your Giga stat fours. Usually you had to pick one now they're actually giving you all of them and that also applies to the dominas you used to have to pick the notes now they're just giving you full kavars dominas stia dominas which is very very nice so please make sure that you actually progress through the mission pass over here because it's the only way for free to play players to actually get their personal shop use three days other than the treasure scratch which has a 0.04 percent chance of getting this so it's pretty much impossible 
All right, with that out of the way, the next thing I want to remind everyone is about your ARCs records. So this week's ARCs records is the South Kavaris Dash Solo. So make sure that you actually do it. As long as you participate, you will get 20 ARCs record badges next week. So just participate since it literally takes less than five minutes. Next up, I want to remind everyone about their exchange shop. So again, you know, you want to do your ARCs records because of the ARCs records exchange shop. You can pick up your two arms refiners over here. So make sure that you do that. Um, if you do need any other weapon camos or star gems or Aegis Integras, you can pick them up here as well. And if you don't have anything you want to pick up, you could always pick up the emote, the winner circle emote, which will cost you 50 ARCs record badges. The next thing I want to remind everyone is, of course, your Aegis Integra Exchange. Scroll all the way to the very bottom. Please make sure to pick up all of your Dominas. I've actually picked all of them up already, surprisingly. And your Aegis Soul 4s so that you can make your Hal Finales. Hal Finales have fallen in price even further. On Ship 2, they're now going for like 800,000. Let us just double check that. Hal Finale, let's check item prices. Oh, so they have bounced back up to 900,000. They were down to 800,000 like two days ago, I want to say. So, uh, yeah, I still think it's still worth it, to be honest, since, uh, you know, Masetta is Masetta, money is money. And worst case scenario, you can always just use the HAL finale on your gear, especially if you do have 10 of them stacked up. You can always just put a 30% booster. That's 100% chance. So there's zero gambling required. Unless, of course, you are planning to gamble, then, you know, feel free to do that. The next thing I want to remind everyone is the SG Legacy Coordination Exchange Shop over here. So you actually get one of the pose tickets, which will allow you to exchange for any of the motion idols, the signature pose if you want that, the finger movement, all of the braver pose if you need that as well, because uh, you do get the SG Legacy Coordination Badge pose. When you scratch a hundred times on the treasure scratch, it is a guaranteed reward. So when you do pick that up, make sure to come to the SG Legacy Coordination Exchange, scroll to near the bottom. Bottom and you can literally pick up any of these motion idols. I know some people like my reading motion idol, for example. This was one of my signature looks for a while. Um, you can pick that up. There's a bunch of motion dashes if you want that. There's idols for warm up. This one's actually really popular as well. Hands behind back two. Um, but yeah, there's just a bunch of really, really nice stuff that you can pick up over here if you need anything. And last but not least, don't forget about your Alliance Magic Chain Shop over here to pick up your 30 Star Gems because uh, it's basically free Star Gems. Just make sure that you pick them up. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.